platform fighter. Smash Brothers is what I like to call a platform fighter. I'm Cyber Angel doing a quick rant on something. I was listening to uh, this week's co-optional podcast uh, at one point hilariously at uh, 1.5 speed and again at like half speed. Half speed, they sound like they're drunk. They sound like they're drunk. But then they end up talking about um, uh, Guilty Gear, uh, what is it, Revelation or something like that, and uh, and Smash Brothers, and they they didn't have a name for the genre, I'm like, Platform Fighter. These are games that blend fighting games, pretty much beating the crap out of everyone else. Not like a beat uh, in, in a single, like, area, if that. It includes power-ups. And, you know, it, it, it blends the two genres together. It's like a platformer and a fighter. So it takes, it doesn't, it's not a continuous level. It just takes place in a small, in like this small little area. So yeah, you want to turn for it. Platform fighter. Smash Brothers is a platform fighter. You've had other games before that that were platform fighters. Actually, I think, I think a couple of them were Guilty Gear games. You also have games like, like uh, the Jump Superstar games. Uh, the Shonen Jump Star games, um, uh, Power Stone, I know that one off the top of my head, and I know there's plenty of others, where it's, where traditionally it is, you're, you're trying, the, they have elements of both fighting games, but you're moving around and possibly collecting items like it's a platformer. So there, you want a name for that genre, for that subgenre, Platform Fighter. Done. Jeez. Why isn't anyone called this, called it this yet? It's a blending between a, pla- a traditional platformer and a fighting game. I'm Cyber Angel, and I'm going back inside because recording this out in my car in the 100-degree degree weather is a bad idea. Didn't have much of other choice, though.